this stuff lights your fireman, the pilot lights out. This football team is coming into our place. We're standing in our way. This is a game of the heart. Focus and finish. All right, let's get this party started and get right to it, taking a look at tonight's AFC East matchup between the Jets and the Pats. Now, trying to keep track of the Patriots' depth chart is a bit like trying to keep track of the Jets' quarterbacks on the roster or manually having to reset your watch every five minutes. If for no other reason other than to give Tom Brady some familiarity with those around him, with Shane Vereen out, Stephen Ridley should be somewhat of a feature back tonight, despite being benched last week for fumbling. LeGarrette Blunt will be the guy to give Ridley a blow, and one time Jets running back recently signed Leon Washington or Brendan Bolden would be the guys who are candidates for some receptions on passing downs. But it's really incumbent upon Ridley to step up his game and be able to show he can become a complete back tonight. While he rushed for 1,263 yards last season, he only caught six balls for 51 yards. And for a back playing in Tom Brady's backfield to have that much playing time and so few receptions suggests there's a true problem with him in the passing game. Last week, Ridley rushed nine times for 46 yards before fumbling, but he had no receptions. So Tom Brady's going to throw the ball to someone, or at least he's going to try. But to who? Well, it looks like Danny Amendola is going to be out. That didn't take long. So Julian Edelman and Kimbrell Tompkins are the prime candidates to do some damage to the extent it can be done. Josh Boyce, Aaron Dobson, and Matthew Slater round out the available wide receiving targets at Brady's disposal. At tight end, Gronk is still out. Highly touted Zach Sudfeld, who was everyone's preseason sleeper, is out. They just resigned Matthew Mulligan, but it's this guy. I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to butcher it. This guy who appears to be the starter. And this guy had one catch for five yards last week. As for the Jets, Belial Powell and Chris Ivory should both see plenty of action. While Ivory is a tough inside runner who led the league in yards after contact with the Saints and a candidate for TDs if the Jets get close, who knows if that'll happen, Belial Powell is the guy you want if you're in a PPR league. While not really exceptional at anything, he's a serviceable threat in both the running and the passing game. He didn't do much on the ground last week against Tampa, but you can see how the Jets will use him. He had 12 rushes for 22 yards and 4 catches for 35. Wouldn't surprise me if Jets rookie quarterback Geno Smith was instructed to look for Powell out of the backfield quite a bit tonight in an attempt to limit turnovers because really, the only chance the Jets have of winning this game is to play virtually turnover free. In the Jets passing game, things are a bit more dicey. Stephen Hill, who is as much raw talent as any receiver in the league, sans the fact that he can't catch a football, is really the only threat the Jets have down the field. And if they let him wear sticking tonight, he's actually got a shot to do some damage. And Santonio Holmes is back. He played 45 snaps last week with just one catch for 13 yards. You can expect him to get more in the swing of things tonight, but I gotta believe at this point, he's more of a possession receiver. The Jets' most accomplished target from last year is Jeremy Curley, who's out with a concussion, leaving tight ends Jeff Cumberland and Kellen Winslow as perhaps the best candidates to hook up with Geno Smith for any meaningful contributions in the passing game. As for Smith, Hey look, he put up more fantasy points than Cam Newton and Ben Roethlisberger last week, and he did rush for 47 yards. In most places, the Patriots are favored by 11.5 tonight, but I've seen lines as high as 12.5. Look, the Jets aren't going to scare anyone on offense, but the Jets are catching New England at the perfect time on a short week with a depleted roster. The defense is vastly underrated, and I just don't see the Patriots being that successful against them tonight, missing so much of their core personnel. I'm guessing that special teams plays a big factor in the outcome and I'd be shocked if the Pats covered the spread. To be honest, if Geno Smith doesn't turn the ball over, to me, this game's probably a toss-up. Today's question is from Edgar in St. Louis, Missouri, and he wants to know if I think that Brett Selleck will be a top 10 tight end this season. Sure, why the hell not? Chip Kelly's offense creates chaos on defense from an alignment standpoint, and Selleck is going to get lost and forgotten all the time playing inside the hash marks. His linebackers and safeties are going to miss assignments all over the place as defenders try to scramble and match up with offensive personnel. Absent injury, he's definitely a top 10 tight end. If you haven't tried daily fantasy, you're missing out. In baseball, you get to choose a different team every day and the opportunities are limitless. In football, there's no being out of it at the halfway mark or problems with your highest scoring player being lost for the season. You get to choose a new roster each week. Check out some of the sponsors on our site and what they have to offer. You can play for big money, 
you can wager just two bucks. Either way, the rush you get each day and each week is incredible. And you're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't give it a whirl if you like fantasy. If you have a question that you want answered here on the show, shoot me an email or hit me up with a tweet. I won't be able to get to them all here on the show, but if not, I'll tweet you back with my best advice. And be sure to tune in to Roto Expert's Fantasy Football News Notes and Analysis segment every weekday. I'll be here to keep you current and ahead of the competition, and on weekends, come back for This Week in Fantasy Football as I team up with the King, Scott Engel, covering the week that was, the week that will be, and answering your viewer questions. For Roto Experts, I'm Mike Cardano. See you tomorrow.